Hey guys, I hope y'all are doing good. In today's video, I'm gonna show you three applications from Adobe that will change the way you work in architecture or as a student forever. Yes guys, this video will be a very short video, but you will learn a lot and you will learn about these software and the capabilities these software have. So guys, without any delays, let's get started with the video. So guys, the first one and the latest one is the Adobe Firefly and it is amazing. It is still under development. A lot of features are still yet to come, but whatever it has, it has potential. So first feature of this application is text to image. Like mid journey, you can again prompt in your text. What do you want to see? How you want to see it? And it will generate images based on your preference. In this, you have an additional feature where you can see like a landscape mode, portrait mode or in your specific ratio, the size of the image will be adjusted in the application itself, which is a very helpful thing. And it is developing guys. So don't instantly compare it with Midjourney. Midjourney have been trained by us. So it's generating more and more efficient pitch, uh, efficient images. So the next tool in this application is the text image generator. So what happens is you can type whatever text you want and you can type how you want that text to be. Like how you can see on your screen right now. I'm just writing Archivlogs and I'm writing how I want to see Archivlogs in and it will generate a text that will have that image and that properties and it will generate your text like that which is a very cool feature. I wanted to do this on my Archivlog channel for a long time and here it is. It is, it does that same thing which would have taken me like few hours in just minutes and it is amazing. Next one is generative fill. So this is a very helpful one. I use it like often, very often. Uh, DALI 2 also can do this, but this is also a very efficient way because you will find three options, four options right over here. So in generative field, what you do is you just erase the part that you don't want in your image and just text, type your text, like what do you want that place to be replaced from. So it will replace that and it will manage the lighting of that uh, replaced image based on the lighting that was already present in your image. So this is also a very cool tool. It is similar to the next applications from Adobe that is still in a beta phase and it is called AI Generative in Photoshop. This is all over internet. I know you might be knowing about it, but okay, just listen to me. So you can again go ahead, select your image or the portion of an image that you want to change, type in what do you want to change it with and it will do it for you. Yes, and it is inbuilt in Photoshop and it is very easy to use. So guys, this is something that will change how we do the post processing of images, of our renders, of our sheets and everything is gonna change. This is one of the most useful and amazing feature that I have ever used from an AI. The level of detail, the level of light correction and level of uh, understanding that it has in Photoshop, it's amazing. There are a lot of software that try to uh, like compete with Photoshop, but after this, I don't think so. Any software would, would even come near Photoshop. So this is the second application and the third application is absolutely mind blowing for all the uh, AR and VR fanatics. So this is called Adobe Aero and this is one of my favorite applications from Adobe in which you can create 3D assets, 3D models. This is now integrated with Google as well. So you can actually download the 3D maps that Google has and you can brand or put your 3D model in real time onto those maps. So this, first of all, uh, once you put your model into a 3D map or a 3D location that you have, you don't have to do anything. That entire place has been generated by Google because Google already has that asset data and the 3D data 
with them and now you are placing your 3d element that you have designed in aero or any other software and placing it and animating it and all your customers or your clients have to do is just scan a qr code no application is required no additional software is required they can just view it by scanning that application or the qr code that's it and you will see everything that you have designed or if you have placed so for example if you have a site somewhere located in middle of nowhere and you place your model on that site what your client has to do is just scan that qr code on that site itself and it will display the entire model on the site real time so this is one of the coolest feature it is still under development a lot of things they are still coming up but they are not here yet but still if you are able to get a free trial for adobe aero or firefly or the photoshop variant go ahead try it out this will act actually change the style of working how you work you will think like okay fine this is wrong in my render i will just correct it in photoshop because you can generate everything from text and similarly many things goes for like my thumbnails like for my previous two videos the thumbnails are generated by ai yes guys so go ahead check out my previous two videos the thumbnail of those videos it is generated by ai and similarly you can use ai for your benefit and be ahead in the game of understanding how ai works because it's going to change a lot of things in future in just one or two years you will see a lot of changes a lot of people will be losing their jobs but if you are ahead in this run you will be succeeding so go ahead try it out and if you like this video go ahead hit a like and subscribe to my channel guys take care of yourself and see you soon bye bye